Peace, peace, Hotep, Amen, Amen, Ra, So Moi B, Ashe, Black Power, Power to the People, Islam. You are now rocking with QP the Preacher on Humanity Inc. videos. Welcome back to all my subscribers. Hold up, I'm not even gonna call y'all subscribers no more. See, we distant relatives, because this is a black planet. We, we are the indigenous population of the earth, so I'm gonna call y'all my cousins from now on. So welcome back to all my cousins. Any of my new cousins is here, make sure y'all subscribe. Everybody, make sure y'all like and y'all share this video. Today, we're going to be talking about the coronavirus outbreak in China. Now, this is, a, this is an outbreak in China right now. It's called the coronavirus, right? The coronavirus are a group of viruses that cause diseases in animals, mammals, humans, birds. In humans, it causes respiratory infections, which are typically mild, but in rare cases, it can be lethal. In cows and pigs, they may cause diarrhea, while in chickens, it can cause an upper respiratory disease. Um, some other kind of coronaviruses that you might be familiar with is the SARS virus that popped off in China a couple years back, and then the MARS virus, that happened in the Middle East. Now, the Washington Post is reporting that the death rate in China is soaring, but we we're, we haven't even hit the hundreds yet. Like, I think it's something about 80 deaths. In the Congo, thousands of black, melanated, indigenous brothers, sisters, and cousins have been killed by a Mizu outbreak. Where is the international concern about this? Why isn't all the American media broadcasting about this we're broadcasting about what's going on in china and thousands of black people are dying right now they kill us in science with their biological warfare and have us boohooing over china they probably created that virus too they probably created this these types of coronaviruses for their population control. The Chinese are saying that it came from animals. That's BS, man. They're the animals that it came from. It's like they created the HIV. And this, this coronavirus is supposedly spreading across the, um, the world. There's outbreaks in the US, there's outbreaks in France, in different parts of the UK, right? So it's not being only confined to China. Um, Professor Neil Ferguson, a public health expert at the at Imperial College, he said his best guess was that there were 100,000 affected by the virus. Even though there, there are only 2,000 confirmed cases so far, mostly in the city of Wuhan in China, where the virus first appeared. And as far as I know, I think the, um, the city of Wuhan is still on lockdown, well, partial lockdown. They're trying to keep the virus contained, but it has already spread in different areas. But only about 80 people have died, and I think all of them, if not most of them, I think they're all, only these deaths are in China. How many black people have they killed with AIDS and HIV? How many black people have they killed with mutated Ebola? Well, with Ebola in general, because Ebola is only 4,000. Listen, man. How many black people have they killed with smallpox? Over 6,000 dead in the Congo last year due to measles. And the death rate is still rising. About 2,000 killed in the Congo with, from Ebola, and the death rate is still rising. The World Health Organization says the epidemic of this measles in the Congo is the world's largest and fastest moving. Really? So, have, have you heard about it? Huh? H have you? Is this something that black people are talking about around the world? Because I think we all concerned about this China thing. Around 310,000 suspected measles cases have been reported since the start. And I think the start was back in June 2019. <laughs> Poor infrastructure, attacks on health centers, and lack of access to routine health care have all hindered the efforts to stop the spread of the disease. No shit, Sherlock. Why do we have poor infrastructure? Hmm? Why do we have poor infrastructure? Is it because... The European and Western powers have tried to keep this, keep the um the African region depopulated. 
through the war? Hmm? Is that is that one of the reasons that it could be? Maybe. Is it because that when Europeans left after they conquered Africa from the Berlin Conference that they ripped all the infrastructure out and took it back with them? They ripped the train tracks off the ground, the railroad tracks off the ground and took it back? Hmm? Maybe that could be why. I don't know. Why, why are there attacks on health centers? Why is there a lack of health care? We didn't have these problems before the Caucasians came into the Dark Continent. We didn't have massive diseases running rampant in the Dark Continent before they came. The Democratic Republic of Congo is also experiencing the, the second most deadly outbreak of Ebola the world has ever seen. They're trying to get rid of us so badly, man. So badly. And there's a reason. There's a reason why they're trying to keep the middle of Africa destabilized. Mark my words. In this modern day, whoever controls the center of Africa controls the continent. Center of Africa. If, it, if Africa became the United States of Africa, and the Congo, the center of Africa, was the capital of these states, of these African states, create railroad stations all throughout Africa, railroad stations going into the Middle East, going into Europe. Shit, we could even probably build a bridge crossing the Atlantic, but I'm not even gonna get into that right now. Whoever controls the center of Africa controls the continent, man. The Democratic Republic of Congo is a country with huge natural wealth, huge amounts. Almost every valuable natural resource you can you can think of, it can be found there. From a multitude of minerals, including diamonds, gold, copper, cobalt, tin ore, coltane. They even got timber and oil. Yet, yet the black children in the Congo are dying from a preventable disease. Black children, melanated babies, indigenous people of the planet Earth. But we too busy. Praying for China. Now, I'm not saying that I don't feel sympathy about the people that are dying in China. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is black people have other things to worry about. Because we have war. And bio-warfare. We learned this, man. We learned this. Even if you don't know your African history, you know a little bit of American history. When they came over here in their ships, they gave the Indians... Blankets with smallpox, smallpox on them. That's bio warfare. We know this already, man. But what we what we don't know is that the reason they knew about this whole sport smallpox thing is because of what was going on in Europe and Africa when the Caucasians started coming into contact with mass um mass groups of African black melanated people. The Caucasian diseases alone killed millions and millions of them. When they came out of the mountains in the Middle East, they killed millions of them. When they came into North Africa and then to West Africa, they killed millions of them. We don't learn about this though. Most of these epidemics in history, yo, it's from them. We wasn't going through this stuff because they forgot how to do all that while they was living in the caves, how to be clean. Yo, I'm not even going to go into this, man. Listen, yo, research the Moors and how they re-civilized Europe after Europe went through their dark stages. But after the fall of Rome... They basically lost everything we taught them from Egypt. But I'm going to keep going, though, because it's not that's not what we're talking about right now. Eh? So in 2000, no, the 2014-2015 Ebola outbreak in Liberia, Guinea, and Sierra Leone, it affected 28,000 and it killed over 11,000 black, melanated, indigenous people. By the end of the West African Ebola outbreak, the three nations lost a combined GDP of $2.8 billion. Economic warfare. Bio-warfare. I'm going to call it like it is. Wake up, man. Then they downplaying what's going on in the Congo with the measles and the Ebola and the wars. They downplaying it through the Zionist controlled media. Media warfare. I don't even know that's the word. What do you call what do you call war through the media? Well, let me know if y'all know what that is. Yo, put it in the comments. But it's social engineering, it's brainwashing, systematic brainwashing, man. Mass brainwashing. Most people will recover, but measles can cause a lifelong disability. It can be deadly, especially if 
causes of pneumonia in the lungs or swelling of the brain. There were over a thousand measles deaths in the Madagascar in 2019. The measles virus is only about 4,000 years old. And you already know what was going on in the planet then. This is a black planet. We are at war. In the biological warfare, bio warfare, biochemicals, just tactics and strategies that they have repeatedly used against us on every single black continent. They did it in Europe when they came out of the caves. They did it in Africa. They did it in Asia. They did it in Australia. They did it in Americas. They got people. Yeah, war, man. Bringing you the Black News Commentary. Peace. I'm out.